Hello, my name's Matt and I worship at St Philip's with my family and today I'm going to be reflecting on Luke 15 verses 1 to 10. The Lost Sheep One day when many tax collectors and other outcasts came to listen to Jesus, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law started grumbling. This man welcomes outcasts and even eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. What does he do? He leaves the other 99 sheep in the pasture and goes looking for the one that got lost until he finds it. When he finds it, he is so happy that he puts it on his shoulders and carries it back home. Then he calls his friends and neighbours together and says to them, I am so happy I found my lost sheep. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 respectable people who do not need to repent. <clears throat> or suppose a woman who has 10 silver coins loses one of them. What does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps her house and looks carefully everywhere until she finds it. When she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says to them, I am so happy. I found the coin I lost. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, the angels of God rejoice over one sinner who repents. When I uh, read this passage, I uh, I laughed. I hadn't read the passage until I would uh, that I'd be reflecting on, until after Boris had announced that England would be going into another lockdown on the day of this reflection. Um, I laughed because it, the passage sums up perfectly how many of us are feeling at this time. I'm. I'm sure that over the last eight months, we've all felt lost at some point. Um, for me personally, it's been very easy to feel lost at work. The lack of seeing colleagues and leaders makes you feel unsure about how you're performing, but also unsure about the team around you. You suddenly discover that someone in the team has been off ill for three months. Um, I hadn't needed to interact with them due to working on different projects, so my only normal contact would have been seeing them in the office. Um, I suddenly felt very lost because I didn't know what was going on around me. There will be many views on how the government and particularly Boris has handled this crisis with uh, many Conservative MPs preferring to pass the responsibility onto the public by issuing guidance rather than rules. What would Jesus say about this? I think he would probably be in favour of us taking personal responsibility but unlike the MPs he'd be very clear on what this personal responsibility meant. He would have, he would also have understood the meaning and spirit of the rules rather than following them blindly. How many times does he criticise the Jewish leaders for blindly following the rules and traditions without either understanding or compassion? At the moment it feels like we are all lost but our secular leaders are saying that we should find our own way back to the fold. This is completely at odds with today's passage. The passage tells us that we should go out and find the lost, no matter how much effort it takes. Uh, the passage makes no distinction between people we know and strangers. How much more difficult is it to go out and find someone we don't know? I'm sure we've all gone to great lengths to help our friends or family, but how often have we gone to the same great lengths for, to help even an acquaintance, not even a stranger, just an acquaintance? This isn't the only challenge that the passage presents us with. Um, we're also faced with the challenge that a reformed sinner is more cause for celebration than 99 who do not need to repent. This can feel unfair for those of us who don't need to repent. They have lived a faithful life, uh, but it's not going to be celebrated. I don't think we need to worry... Um, I don't think we need to worry. If the story wasn't being used as an example and it was real, it would actually be the 99 lost sheep and we would be celebrating when each one of them was found. So what I'm saying is there's there's not one sinner, there'd be 99 sinners because how many of us have nothing, nothing at all to repent of? So we're all lost and all have something to repent of, but we shouldn't be downhearted at this. We should rejoice that when we are found, there will be great celebration. So let us pray. We pray for lost sheep everywhere, those who are lost with their faith or those who are just lost with life. Guide us back into your fold 
and let us celebrate every time a lost sheep is found. Amen. <laughs>